Did we get him? Oh, yeah, we did. All right. Great. Oh, no. Did we affect our own friends? <laughs> For a second, I thought that was the creamy man yelling that out. <laughs> All right. There we go. Am I supposed to be impressed by Azura? By Azura? I've seen the arena fights. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> what a fucking guy. All right. There we go. And what have you got? Glass cuirass? Oh, thanks. And let's see. Wow, they're still just looking at each other. I think they fought for a hot minute. Oh. Hey, gang. What's good? Welcome back to Oblivion. We were just here in Chain Hall, of course, getting some more brave souls to venture forth to their doom. My goodness, and today our Knight of the Nine who will be meeting his or her demise is Sir Eralder. Will he survive? Probably not. He's a high elf. It's, uh, <laughs> chances are not in his favor, right? Chances are he's going to get hit by one lightning spell from Storm Atronach Familiar and be fucking toast. But yeah, just came out here to get another Dark Brotherhood murderer, which, uh, you know what? No one seems to have recognized that every time I uh, go inside this well... I come out with a new person who is a murderer, right? No, no one seemed to be been able to put that together. It's uh, the magic of the gray fox's cow, right? I was about to say the gray cow's fox. <laughs> but also, doesn't this dude... Didn't we have him before, right? Or maybe he had a hood on last time. But also down there, there was the... Um, the goth chick, <laughs> you know, with a, the with a heavy uh, like eyeshadow and all that stuff. But are there really... Are there just, like, two murderers that we can recruit at at the moment right now? Maybe. Maybe. There's just the two of them. Eh, name a more iconic duo. There we go. Let's head on out of here to all the way down below to the fantastic land of Leowin. All right. And we also picked up a, a book here for our reading, which it will surprise you. It will amaze you. We've gone through it uh, or gone by it a gazillion million times trillion badillion times and uh just haven't ever read it it's one of those all right onyx caverns here we go ba 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 see what we can find down here just a big old rock pokemon oh my god it's a onyx the rock snake pokemon it's come to oblivion to ruin everything with lord dagon's wrath man look he also likes to get naked man who knew that the mages guild were the kinkiest motherfuckers alive every time they get naked oh here here we go <laughs> just out of nowhere you mangy house cat i'll kill you <laughs> jesus christ oh god all right yep it <laughs> how come it worked out so well the first time every other preceding time that we've had our big group together it's just devolved into chaos right everyone's just started fucking killing one another christ we're going in here maybe things will fix themselves through a load screen jesus it's awful it's terrible is everyone at peace now everyone at peace all right I guess they don't like the murderer, right? I guess the murderer is a problem. Also, these mages' guild apprentices are supposed to be very, um, like, young, which is weird for me to say as this guy is shirtless before me. But they're, they're supposed to be young people, right? And the weirdest thing that I've encountered is that there's a couple of the generated faces. I don't know if they're randomly generated or, like, from a pool. But one of them looks extremely young. Like, they're supposed to be like, oh, yeah, I'm a brand new... Apprentice here at the Arcane University. I'm all Harry Pottered up and ready to go, baby. And then you talk to him or walk up to him, and then what do you hear? How may I help you, Archmage? Fucking Wes Johnson's sexy, deep ass voice coming at you. Yes, <laughs> it's just like the <laughs> face doesn't match at all. <laughs> all right, let's head on out of here. Can we pop this rock? No, we cannot. All right, let's see. Well, Grab some of these. All right, let's see. Oh, you know what we should do? I was thinking about this. Here. Start getting some of these fucking dudes out, right? We uh, we went through a lot of the trouble, remember, to get some of these spells. I think it was the the Givale, perhaps. Oh God, what was another one? The Gloom Wraith, maybe. We went we went through a lot of trouble to get a couple of these because they would become eventually unattainable, right? I think Givale is one, and one of the rays. Oh, probably Dramora Lord, right? One of them. There we go. Because there was, they can become totally unattainable. 
All right, there we go. Everyone's getting fucked up by me or otherwise. Jeez, there we go. Eat shit, bandit. Come on, team. Good job. All right, what have you got? Anything good? Elven cure ass. A couple of lock picks. All right, yeah. Let's get one of these dudes out. Let's make use of them. Watch the hell out. Yeah, that's right. You thought the Oblivion Crisis was over, but it's just getting started, motherfucker. The Lord Dagon! There we go. Eat shit. Oh, look, he's got lightning magic, too. It's useful. All right. But I will... I sh he cannot uh, replace Gordon, regardless of uh, his magical prowess. All right. What are you looking for, shirtless man? Anything up here? No. All right. Whoop. Watch out for that. If we got... Is that someone down there in the fog? Jeez. Are these bandits or vamps? Holy crap. All right. Let's throw some of that shit down there. That was probably a bad idea. Are our friends in combat with one another now? All right. Seems like they're fine, right? Here, come on over here. Oh, gotcha. Are you guys fighting now? You duking it out? Oh, there we go. And now you? Will you turn around and start fighting her? Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. We'll take care of this foul bastard. Oh, I banish thee. Be gone. All right. <laughs> All right, let's look around here. Anything in this weird, ominous fog? Nope. It's just another pit of fog. Does that happen in caves? I've been in, like, um... One big cave system when I was young for a field trip. I don't remember any big old pits of fog. I'm not sure. I'm starting to think some of the things in Oblivion aren't true to, uh, real life. <laughs> I call it a hunch. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Oh, shit! Oh, man, it's him! Back from the fucking grave! Alright. I thought we took him out. Jeez, he's gonna take me out. All right, there we go. And let's see here, let's get some more juice flowing. Go on all the way down here and pop off a Grand Soul Gem, why not? There we are. Cool. By oh, the shit. Gods, there's a psychopath on the loose. No, 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 no. Oh, God, he, oh, it's too late for you. It's too late for you. <laughs> battle, man, battle at arms, battle horn man, man at arms. Oh, uh, he's fucked. All right, and then, what do you have here? Anything? Healing potions, we'll take them. How about on this person? Eh, some elven boots. That's real cure ass. It's all good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I am also part of the problem. It's not just them. I am also contributing to this... This just endless cycle of death and undeath. Good God. Live, die, repeat. Alright, let's grab some of these shrooms here. Head on out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, pass the roots. Oh, look, hey, they must have come through here. Alright. What have you got? We'll take the greaves. Those are worthwhile. Anything else here? A head. Get rid of that. Iron dagger. Get rid of that. Recently used pick. Cheap wine. No thank you. Cheap wine. And now, we can just spam E on this. Good. Alright. Anything else over here? Oh man, I threw that cheap wine up here? Or is that another one? Damn, that's a good throw. Alright. What have we got in here? Another little sleepy Betty by chest? Eh, some worthwhile stuff, I guess. A little bit of gold. Pure poison potion. Sell that off later. Jump on my sword while you can! <laughs> Good God. Alright. Let's head on over here. Uh, oh, shit! Uh, Alright. Good. Alright. Fantastic. Whew. Okay, what have you got? Anything good? Eh, strong potion of healing. Lockpick. There we go. And... Skeleton? Is this... Did we just loot skeleton or chest? Yeah, okay, there we go. Skeleton has only bone meal. No thank you. Take some of this. Oh, also looting skeleton. All right. Oh, look at that. Huh. Man, someone threw a giant treasure chest at this person's arm and took it clean off. Oh my god. Actually, they threw it at them and they fucking exploded. Someone got hit by a treasure chest and they exploded. Their arm went flying over here. Their other arm got like split off and their head flew down through their asshole. My god. Shit is wild up in here in Oblivion in the Onyx Caverns. <laughs> Alright. Knights of the Nine! Oh god. Oh, where's the chest throwing person? There we are. I'll take care of you. Bandit, what have you got? I guess we'll take the glass greaves, why not? Poison of the fool. Damn, you got me. Alright, anything else over here? Venison. Some little shoes. Huntsman moccasins. Ah, and a sweet roll. I've stolen it. Alright, anything else over here? Small crate, hourglass. Shears. Another smashed up crate. People just hate crates. No, uh, this is what happens when you get rid of crowbars, huh? Alright. 
just as they have done recently with levitation magic. So too has the Empire put out some strange sort of ban on <laughs> on pry bars. <laughs> All right, everyone has to just take their hatchets and axes to <laughs> crates to pop them open. Very Crash Bandicoot of them. It's the Crash Bandicoot decree. All right, let's see. Onyx Bridge? Huh. Let's see. There's another area up here. Blackwood. What? Oh, it's Blackwood. Okay, is this the name of? Oh, yeah, it's the name of this area. Of this, uh, southeastern stretch of Cyrodiil. Okay. Makes sense. Right next to Black Marsh, right? Alrighty. Let's look over here. Oh, by the way, in loading screens, thinking of Black Marsh and, uh, all the different cultures and stuff of Tamriel. When I was loading in to begin recording this time, as you know, I was up in Chaden Hall. The load screen said something along the lines of, oh, yada yada, Chaden Hall. Despite it being in Cyrodiil, it is, or something, it's a delightful mix of, the architecture is a delightful mix of Dunmer and Nord. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? I don't know if I see the Nord influence in it. Maybe it's the, the stony, stonemason work or something at the bottom of the buildings? Maybe, but it looks very much like a more modern version of the buildings in... Morrowind's Empire Towns, right? Like Sedanine, Pelagiad, all that stuff. It looks pretty much identical. And they just sort of dunmered up the buildings by making the rooftops very high vaulted. Is that the word? Is that the proper architectural word? Vaulted? It's got a high vault. It's got a big peak. Got a big peak to it. Alright, let's look on over here. Similar to a lot of the houses that you'll find in Mornhold or in, oh look, okay, yeah, we can't go through there, that is actually the shortcut. Or in, like, a gazillion, million, bazillion of the towns in ESO that belong to Dunmer, right? Okay, here we go, look over here. Onyx Canyon Bridge, good. Head on over this way, man, yet another cave system with an interior canyon. Jesus, Cyrodiil just won't fucking quit, will it? Alright, head on over this way. <clears throat> good. Oh, look, could we have looked up there? No, just a bunch of roots. All right, fine. Onyx Canyon Bridge. Here we are. What have you got for me? Oh, look. There's some guy here to, to greet us. Oh, it's the ringleader himself. All right. Eat shit, friend. There you are. Uh. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Bandit ringleader. Cuirass of cleansing. Greaves of poise. All righty. There we go. And let's take care of you. Uh. There we go. Good. We should probably juice up again, huh? In fact, let's just shoot one of these fucking things over there. Good. Did we get him? Oh, yeah, we did. All right. Great. Oh, no. Did we affect our own friends? <laughs> For a second, I thought that was the creamy man yelling that out. <laughs> All right. There we go. Am I supposed to be impressed by Azura? By Azura? I've seen the arena fights. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking guy. All right. There we go. And what have you got? Glass cuirass. Oh, thanks. And let's see. Wow, they're still just looking at each other. I think they fought for a hot minute. Oh, okay. I see. This guy has... Uh, he's become one with the cave. Am I supposed All right. to be impressed? Man, everyone here is wondering if they're supposed to be impressed. Okay. There we go. Look at this. It's going good. Here. All right. Except for this fucking dude. This dude doesn't want to come up. Oh, look at this. Hey. You there. Can I activate Stop this? Where you are. Doink. Nope. Ow, shit. Oh, God. Don't paralyze me. Don't hit me with your paralysis arrow. Please, no. All right. Here. We're going to heal on up. Good. Here, let's get out another Givale, right? Let's get, uh, let's get exciting about this. There we are. Givale. Drink up a little bit. Boom. For Check it out. Mind. It's the oily yeah. man. He's here to clean your fucking soul. There we go. Shoot out some lightning. Blast him. Give him the Palpatine. Oh, there he goes. Good, good job, I think. All right. Did we get them all? Man, look at this guy. This might be the longest a night of the nine has lasted, aside from the first time, perhaps. Or maybe the night of the nine, the first uh, batch. God, that is a terrible way to refer to a group of our friends and adventurers. But uh, he uh, he lasted for quite, or she? I forgot. They lasted quite a while. Let's see. Take some corn. There we are. Look at this. What's this? Oh, it was a log holder. All right, man. You gotta be 
pretty fucking buff to be able to fit those logs up there. Whoop! There we go. Not today, friend. There you are. Take care of that. Oh, he is still toasty and roasty. Where's our friend at? Givalet? Come! Do my bidding! Blast him! Yeah, give him a lightning right up the booty hole. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll block him. Level up my block. You like that? Okay, he's pulling out the bow. No, thank you. I don't want any of those paralysis arrows. So does, do the enemy skills level up with your own? Like, do they do they just match yours straight up? Right? Because initially, when we would fight Bowman and stuff, they wouldn't have the paralysis perk, right? To where randomly an arrow has a chance at uh, paralysis. I don't think so. So maybe it's worth it to actually just hold off. If you're not a marksman, it might be worth it to hold off on leveling your marksman until you're toward the end game, so you don't have to deal with this shit, right? There we go. We'll take care of you. And let's actually get out... Who else? Yeah, let's get out just a straight-up fucking Dramora. <laughs> Why not? All right. Let's see. Head on down here. Summon Dramora Lord. There we go. Oh. For Not the yet. nine! Good. All right. That the best yes, for the do. nine! <laughs> Look at my demon! Ah! There we are. Good. And there. Yep. Take care of you. You you doing okay there? Oh, God. He's taking an arrow up the ass. All right. Jeez. All right. He doesn't do much damage, huh? You would have expected a little bit more. Yeah, look at that. I guess it's the the rate of attack is pretty good, right? I feel like Gordon does more damage per hit, right? Huh. Alrighty, what have you got? Daedric Bow? No, but I will take that dagger you were using. Oh, great. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. Has the Atronach died off? I think so. Let's do a quick repair. There we go, we were at like 80-something. For our SWAD. Good. Heal on up. Grab a shroom. A couple of shrooms. Excellent. Head on down into the spooky pooky fog. What have we got? More shrooms. Hidden shrooms among the fog, among the mist. Head on up, and what do we see? Onyx caverns again. Oh, this must be the loop around. All right, here. Let's check on back. Anything else we miss in this area? No, I think that's it. All right. Well, let's speed our ass up and get the heck on out of here. There we go. Move one of those. How they even built this into the natural looking cave is beyond me. It's a mystery to everyone. All right. Let's see, so we just popped on out of there, head on out into the Blackwood. Boom! There we go. Excellent. And then we'll mark this sucker as done. And let's see. There should be an Aeliad Ruin, I think, right here next to Blankenmarch. Let me just double check here. So we were at the cave next to the W in Blackwood. All right. Yeah, should be an Aeliad Ruin. Right? Oh, hey, Fort Bulwark is not on the map. Huh. Was that part of a DLC? I guess we must have went in there already then. Right? And we just forgot to mark it as done? I have no idea. Yeah, you know, let's quick save just in case something terrible happens. Keep forgetting that quick saving is totally on the in the cards right now. Grab some of that shit. Oh look. Ah, we can grab some ancient alien power. It still resonates here to this very day. There we go. Draw power from the well. Alright. If only <laughs> Umbacano knew. And he could have just done that. All right. There we go. And let's look over here. Lily of the Valley. Oh, look at that. Oh, excellent. Anything else? Look, I do enjoy this. All these, like, swampy areas. It's pretty fun. Okay. Some sort of crab is probably after us. It's fine. There we are. Let's speed ourselves up again. And let's just make our way over to the marker here. There we are. Look out, Isaac. Head on over, and what have we got? Oh my gosh, this one's quite big! Wow, look at this! It's like a whole big-ass fortress! Alright, do the people of Blankenmarch have anything to say about this place? I'm guessing we must have fully checked out Blankenmarch since we did mark it as done, right? Yeah, must have checked out all three buildings. You were Martin's friend, weren't you? You were fortunate to have known him. Man, you knew about Martin? Alright. Bye. <clears throat> What's up, Hans Grohubrog? Go ahead, please. Oh, let's say anything? No. And hey, you, you, Floyd Nathans? What do you want? Okay. <laughs> what What a real ass name, hey, Floyd you. Nathans. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, here we go, head on down here. Alright, 
What have we got? Oh, look, yeah, they got the big old statue. You want to see a statue up there for sure. Oh, look at this. And there's some sort of troll cavorting around here. All right. Let's whip out another horrific demon. Why not? Let's get some use out of it. Let's see. Should we... Let's try Gloomwraith. Maybe Gloomwraith was one of them. Gloomwraith doesn't have that much of a requirement compared to the other side. So, so it gives me some doubt. There we are. And we'll take care of you. Oh, God. We have, like, no juice whatsoever, and this gloom rate is terrible at killing stuff. There we are. Great! Yeah, the gloom rate is pretty bad. Look at him just slap the shit out of him, though. That's kind of fun. All right. And troll fat. You know what? I totally forgot to lay down a soul trap on that dude. Get some of these green stained cups. Good. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's shaped just like a coffin. Ominous. All right, before we head in, we should probably check all of these ramparts, or whatever you would call these, right? Let's see. Anything over here? No, nothing. It's not that I can see, unless there's one hidden, a little chest hidden somewhere. Wouldn't be the first time. I guess over that away, we'll check out next. Is there anything down there in that little corner? Maybe that's the way in. Oh, hey! Oh my god, I gotta pay the toll! All right, Gordon, I need you to pay the toll to this troll. There we are. And... gotcha. And let's throw out some of that perp. Rip out a torch. Good. Easy does it. Look at Gordon. Eh, no, Gordon doesn't do that much damage. I was wrong. Totally mistaken. No, wait, you're still alive? Do you see that guy? It's the Knight of the Nine, Eroldur. Oh, God. All right. There we go. Man, this dude is surviving for quite a while. All right. Let's get Gordon back out. Gordon, can you help me finish this dude off? Let's see. Lay out some perp. Jeez, Pete. This guy don't know when to quit. There we go. Got him. All right. Heal on up. Whoa, he was a powerful troll. Huh. Was that from him? Was that his soul? Are these, like, scaled up trolls? Because before we've encountered a lot of trolls that did not scale up whatsoever, right? Look at the creamy man on patrol down there. <laughs> He's laying, uh, making the lay of the land. All right. Let's see. Veyond. Huh. We've been to a Veyond before, haven't we? Or no, it was over here, wasn't it? It was... Oh god, what was the name of it? Van Veyond. It was where we found all the Argonians. Yeah, Veyond Cave. Huh. Veyond Cave is way up there. And Veyond is way down here. What? What is Veyond? Is this the only Veyond around here? That's so weird, that they were... Are they spelled the same? Yeah, they totally are. Huh. Maybe this is where the Argonians came from or something, I don't know. They're just thousands and thousands of years old somehow. All right, let's see, kept alive by their shamanistic magic, a true miracle of life, only to have been mercilessly slaughtered by me. All right, here we go. Send that shit out, and we'll take care of you. Oh, look, yeah! Ots... Ochklon Troll. All right. Let's see. Should we juice up there? Nah. Yeah, these people are unique as well. Everything Veyond related has some sort of unique property to it. What the fuck? All right. Look out, Troll Patrol. Eat a butt. There we are. Maybe this is another strange indigenous tribe of trolls who are just beginning their first steps into sapience, right? And little do they know. The champion of Cyrodiil, the old cock, has come through to slay them. <laughs> Look out, trolls. Beware. All right. Anything down there? Another one. And some shit growing off the wall. Maybe they were just eating Welkin stones that made their intelligence go through the roof, right? Let's see. Let's give this a quick pick. What have we got for me, you secret trolls? Grand soul gem. Greater. 70 Gs and a pearl. Okay. Anything else around here? Man, a whole bunch of Welkin stones just growing everywhere. These trolls are totally just standing guard in a major way. Gordon, I'm tired of the others. There we go. Good. Take care of you. Slash that butt up. There we go. Good and great. Cool. Cool, cool. Troll fat, I'll take it, I guess. You know, we probably shouldn't. It's very heavy and it doesn't really do that much for us, right? <laughs> I think the only good... Th yeah, it's got uh, damage willpower. Veyond Math Maladu. Oh. What a fucking name. All right, let's head on into Math Maladu. What have you got? 
Just a whole bunch of trolls in here building a supercomputer. They got a fucking Zax down here. <laughs> Alright, take care of you. Oh, did I hit him? There we are. And get Gordon out over there. Cut you up. Yep. Cut right through that fucking natural looking ghillie suit or whatever. Totally messed up the troll grabbing. There we go. The troll soul. The troll soul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the troll soul. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Head on down here. What have we got? Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm ready to harvest your troll soul to pay the patrol toll. There we go. Take care of you. Oh. oh God. Maybe these are like genetically modified super trolls, experimented on by the aliens. Oh my God. They they keep kicking at me. Look at them go. They're like doing some sort of fucking kickboxing shit. There we go. These trolls were being bred for MMA or something. All right. Do a quick repair. Great. Heal on up. And yeah, let's look at this troll fat. It has damaged health on it, but it's like the last thing. I don't know if it's worth two units of weight. Right? We're at a point now where I don't give a shit. Let's see. Go on through here. And we may as well buff ourselves up with some perp. Good. And anybody down there? Oh, look, a bunch of dead trolls. And a bunch of blood. All right. Some alien bullshit. Got some restore speed. All right. Some sort of that uh, glow dust, right? Okay. Look at this. There's been a trolder down here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. A sack full of apple and cheese wedge. Great. Look at this. Troll fat as well. Yeah. There we go. And you. Let's see. More troll fat. On this chest. Weak potion of healing. Oh. Maybe they were fighting over it or something. Weird. You wouldn't think that trolls would need to, given their natural regenerative capabilities. But, lo behold. Alright, maybe they just like the flavor. Veyond Bangrara. Well, if you insist. Alright. Look over here. And another dead troll. Oh man, what's been in here killing the super... Ajklan trolls. Apple, lettuce, no thanks. We're gonna pass on that stuff. We're getting pretty damn over encumbered, huh? Especially with all these healing potions, I am absolutely go oh, look at that. Forty units of weight though. Eh, not worth it. Flame touch scroll, I'll take that. Full of sapphire, a little bit of gold. All good stuff. Have we repaired? Yeah we are. And inside this What have you got for me? But Troll gold. <laughs> All right. What, <laughs> what else is around here? Oh, look, more of them. Huh. Are we going to find, like, a neat journal entry about this, or is this really just going to be another Argonian tribesman situation, huh? Is that what this is about to be? Oh, shit. Look, I fucked it up. I've done it again. All right. What have we got? Oh, look. Is this, like, a troll throne? A trone? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Oh, look! Hey! A secret treasure chest from the trolls. A chest. <laughs> Alright. What's over here? Anything? Got a little alien cask. Firestorm tome. Grand soul gem with nothing in it. Alright. Uh, what's this? Just ground to dust or something? Alright. It's like blowing away. Okay. Motes of magical dust. Alright. We're in combat with probably another troll. Oh, there it is. Maybe? I don't know if that's the one that we're in combat with. All right, let's take care of him. Huh? Oh, gotcha. And look out, you a-hole. There we go. We fully juiced up. Oh, we are now. All right, good. And let's see, anything over here? Oh, look, there's a little tiny crevice here. Anything secret within? No, but I feel great for having passed through it. All right, anything else over this way? No, it doesn't seem to be. Is this the one way out on this lower level? It looks like it, doesn't it? Let's see. Let's have another speedy uppy at the ready. Let's see. Drink a more, drink more blue. There we go. And yeah, it looks fine. All right. What do we have over here? More trolls. Oh my god. Oh no, that's Gordon. <laughs> I was like, oh god, it's a super troll. There we go. And what have we got here? Alien cask with a hard lock. Give this a pick. What have you got? Lesser soul gems, you know, we're just gonna take all of that. Anything else over here? Nope. And nope, nope, nope. Nothing, nothing, nothing. In this corner? Nope. About over here. Got a few Welkin stones. Not half bad. 
And how do we deploy this bridge? Oh look, here Gordon, you just gotta push this uh, pres block. All right. And wow, look at all the trolls going. Oh shit. Oh god, this is like some sort of some sort of like obstacle course. A trobstacle course. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. Here, good, Gordon. Check it out, Gordon. Oh god, there's trolls falling everywhere. All right. Oh god, Gordon's ascending as well. There we go. Look, Gordon, we're fine here. Just, oh god, Gordon's a little too big. Okay, it's fine. I'll just jump over the sharp blade. There we are. Take care of you. Send out the perp. Oh shit. Oh god. Gordon, I need back in there. There we go. Gotcha. This guy's still got the perp on him. Oh shit, I juiced up the wrong damn thing. Did you see it? Alright, what a grave error. There we are. That should be enough. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This troll's about to own me in a major way. Oh, Gordon, Ooh. save me! Gordon, save me! Oh, thank you, Gordon. All right, good. Whew. Too close for comfort. All right, in fact, let's do another quick save here just to be safe. All right, it goes around this way. And look at this. It's just like some sort of troll race. There we go. Wow, Gordon's wall hat. All right. There we are. Did we get the perp off? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Slash him right up real good. Good shit. Great! Okay, cool. Juice up again. Alright. Man, what a horrifically oh. terrible area. <laughs> Alright. And what do we have in this? Very hard. Hopefully something good! What have you got for me? General Shield. Wow! Reflect damage, 8%. That ain't half bad. I mean, right now it's pretty bad, but still. Eh, way back when. I don't know, is this random loot? It's probably random loot. Eh, it's worth a lot. Worth a whole lot, actually. For only four units of weight. Okay. Head on up here. Let's see, did we look at everything down on this floor? We did. We're still in combat with something, but F it. Okay. What have we got over here? Bunch of troll fires. You would think they'd be terrified of this. We still haven't discovered why there's just troll blood everywhere. All right. How about all this? Big old sack of foodstuffs. Pass on it for now. All right. Man, this place is big. It's just like Veyon Cave. Surprisingly humongous. All right. Let's get some uh, blue shielding going. Or purple sh Oh, God. What was that? Oh, God. We're getting farted on. Oh. Notice them also using their echolocation, right? There we go. Oh, It's just nonstop farts up in here, huh? Farts all the way down. Oh, God. All right. And then we'll take care of you, send out the perp. Oh, Morales is at the ready. Oh, God, he's kicking the shit out of me. All right. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. You think trolls can regen through farts? I'm thinking they can, right? I'm thinking they can withstand the power of them. They still get hurt by the fart, and they do their echolocation scream, but they can just survive right through it. All right. Here we go. Whew. Let's see, what's this? Ooh. Wah! Alien cask? Wow, well, with 80 gold. All right. It looked a lot more important than it really was. All right, Gordon. He sniffed out another one. There we are. Throw out some perp. Oh, actually hit him. There we go. Good. Fuck him up, Gordon. We've got him cornered. Good shit. Perfect. Okay. Oh, look. A bunch of Varla stones. Oh, my God. A whole bunch of trolls, too. Let's see. Can we make them get pissed as shit? Are they affected by that shit? I don't think they are. <laughs> I think it was just Gordon coming out that upset them. All right. Huh. Did that work? I can't tell if it worked. Is this working? Are they fighting for me now? Oh, God. Let's see. Gordon? Get your butt out of here. All right. Or in here, I should say. There we go. Got you. Ooh. All right. Are they working for me now? Oh, God, I don't think they are. Jesus, these trolls are fucking me up big time. All right, let's get some more... Oh, shit. Get some of that shielding off. Good. Oh, God, I can't drink any more potions at all. All right, it's fine. It's fine, we're fine. Okay. Whew. Has our Magicka regen been stunted by some sort of, like, terrible troll magic? It feels that way, doesn't it? There we go. Look, they're finally fighting. They're duking it out big time. Good. All right. Let's lay into this one here. Finish it off. 
Some totally honorable slashes to the back. Great. And good. There we are. Throw that shit down. And look at his jiggling butt. All right. Good. Very good. All right. That wasn't too bad. Are any of these, like, named ones besides... No. There's not, like, super troll boss. All right. Let's repair that up. Whew, was that down to 20-something? All right. An alien chest. There we go. Good. Another Varla stone. Did we already pick the one off of here? I guess so. All right. How about down there? Yeah, that's where we were earlier. Huh. What a weird place. All right. Will we ever discover the secret of the Ozclon? The Ozclon troll? Perhaps not. All right. Have this, uh... Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Some Daedric items. Huh. Stupid trolls. They can't even wear it. <laughs> Foiled again. All right. Let's look over here. Okay, yeah. This looks like a secret way out, perhaps. What have we got? Oh. Oh, man. Does this go all the way to the... To the surface? All right. Oh, God. All right. There we go. And take care of you. Good. Not too bad. There we are. Fantastic. Anything else? Oh, sounds like there's probably another fucking troll. Yep. All right. There we go. And gotcha. Probably didn't need to pop the fatigue shielding damage reflection potion, but eh, just in case. Because we really almost died there a few seconds ago. All right. Let's see. Troll fat. Oh, did not need to take it, but I did anyway. Let's see. Give this a quick pick. And what is inside but a magical troll surprise? 597 Gs. That ain't half bad. All right. And let's see. Anything else around here? Oh, one of these little units, right? Pieces of the modular dungeon design. Been a while since we saw one of those, huh? I think so. Then again, I guess it's been a while since we've been in a proper alien ruin, right? Give this a quick pick. And what have we got? But... 65 Gs. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Now, where are we at? Oh, look. There's all of our friends laying dead on the floor. Okay. Yeah, we're at Blackwood here. Good. Should we check you out? You always, uh... Yeah, you guys always have good shit. Worth taking. All right. In fact, it's extremely heavy. What can we ditch? Let's see. We could get rid of these glass greaves. And anything else? <sighs> we could... Here, glass bow. Yeah, that's terrible. Hmm. Glass dagger. Also kind of terrible. Yeah, look at that. Glass items aren't worth it at all. I mean, I, gl I guess glass arrows, right? But yeah. Huh. Alright. And let's see. Anything else? Huh. Nah, we should be fine for now, right? Creamy man, do you have a little bit of... Yep. Take out that policy. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see, head on up here. What have we got? Let's take a look at the big old map. Alright, and take a look at the map on my phone as well. Make sure we've got everything in ship shape. Alright. Let's see, so we've got Fort Bulwark over here, which is not on the map. We should do that real quick. Let's just do Fort Bulwark real fast, right? Have a look inside. I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe we'll even see that we've been here before. Oh my god, someone is screaming ass already. Got some Somnilius frond. Oh god. Oh jeez. Alright. Man, there was like a... We just loaded a cell right there and it hitched a bit. A little scary. I was like, oh god, were they casting something that crashed the game? Alright. There we go. Oh, you got Goatee Gordon, huh? Guess who I got? Gordon Prime, baby. There we are. Take care of you. Uh, conjurer. Eat a butt. Good. And what's inside? Daedric Dagger. Fuck, those are always worth taking. Alright, here, let's stash some of this troll fat. Because you know what isn't worth taking? All this troll fat. It's no good. Let's see. How about over here? Can we ditch... Ah, oh, fuck. What could we potentially ditch? Really nothing. Scroll down here, maybe we got some other heavy ingredients. We got venison. We could just make some potions out of it real quick, right? Or would those potions also turn out to be weighing two units of weight? Could be. Let's find out. Did that save us on anything? I think they just turned out to be two unit of weight potions. <laughs> Alright. That's what- yeah, look. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Jesus. Alright. 
What a fresh fucking hell. Let's see, do we have anything else we can ditch? Oh, man. I'm a man with too much wood and too much loot. <clears throat> Let's see, we can apply a poison. That'll bring it down a bit. Huh. Anything else? No, I guess we could... Eat some cheese, apple... Let's see, Karen Bilet. No, we should keep that. Those are only point one. If anything, we should be using those for potions, right? Okay. Hmm. We just need a little bit more, huh? Yeah. Let's see, what all can we eat now? Should we eat a nerd root? No. Sweet roll, I guess. Some of these caps. Some Nilius frond. We just picked one. Oh god. What else is there that can be done? We can drop a glass arrow, I guess. There we go. That do much? No. <laughs> we could put on the Wootlu Rang, but there may be trouble inside, right? Uh, we'll drop the Flame Touch. There we go, it's fine. Oh, shit! Still no good. Alright, this. Are we free? No. How about... Ah, oh, shit, I don't want to drop that tome. That's for damn sure. How about another one of these heavy things? Let's just throw that up in there. Good! Alright, we've done it. We can't pick up any other loot. Alright. Crate, a bunch of red candles. All right, let's see. Let's head on up inside, I guess. Oh look, hey, there's a little area here where we can walk. Does this actually lead to something? It doesn't look like it, does it? Let's see. Can we actually see some chest on the other side? No. All right, yeah, I think this is just for nothing. Maybe the conjurer like to come out here and sort of gaze out upon the land, have a good ass time, a relaxing time here in Fort Bulwark. <clears throat> I could have sworn we'd been to Fort Bul Bulwark, but maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not sure what's even here. Alright. Let's do a quick save. Let's see, let's consult our local map. That's a good way- Yeah, we have been here! I was about to say, this is a great way to tell because it'll all be revealed. Yeah, we've totally been here to Fort Bulwark. For some reason, it did not get marked? Huh. Or maybe the dungeon's identifier out there changes depending on the state of the quest? It could be. That could totally be the case. Alright. Well, when next we come back, we will continue on miscellaneous mayhem, doing some wild and fun adventures, all that good stuff as it begins to rain down upon us. Speaking of which, about to rain in real life. Gotta cut this one a little bit short, because <laughs> had some problems losing uh, power. But we'll see how it goes. Now, for now, we will do a little bit of reading, and hopefully it will not be terribly long. We have... Here, at hand, let's see... Mixed Unit Tactics. Alright, yeah, that's not too bad. Mixed Unit Tactics, in the Five Years' War, Volume 1, by Codus Colonus. Oh, isn't this the vendor in... Morrowind, right? At the Aldrun Bookstore? Maybe, I'm not sure. Alright, the Legions could learn from the unconventional tactics used by the Khajiit in the Five Years' War against Valenwood. I was stationed at the Sphinx Moth Legion Fort on the border near Dune? <laughs> Alright. And witnessed many of the northern skirmishes firsthand. I haven't played the Elsewhere expansion in ESO, but... Oh, no, wait, yeah, this would be... Where would this be? Huh. I guess, yeah. Y against Valenwood, so it could be in Elsewhere, right? Yeah, Dune? Eh, praise the Shai Halud. The war started with the so-called Slaughter of Torval. The Khajiit claimed that the Bosmer invaded the city without provocation and killed over a thousand citizens before being driven off by reinforcements from a nearby jungle tribe. The Bosmer claimed that the attack was in retaliation for Khajiiti bandits who were attacking wood caravans headed for Valenwood. What? So their claim is that because of the work of bandits they decided to attack a not-bandit outpost? What? Hold the fuck up. The Khajiiti claimed that the Bosmer invaded the city. Yeah. They killed thousands of citizens because of some bandits? Hmm. In the spring of Third Era 396, the war moved closer to Fort Sphinx Moth. I was posted on lookout and saw parts of the conflict. I later spoke with both Khajiit and Bosmer who fought in the battle and it will serve as an excellent example of how the Khajiit use a mixture of ground and tree units to win the war. The Khajiit began the fight in an unusual way by sending tree-cutting teams of Cathay Rot 
and the fearsome Senshay Rot, or Battle Cats, fuck yes, into the outskirts of Valenwood's forests. When word reached the Bosmer that trees were being felled, allegedly a crime in the strange Bosmeri re- uh, religion, a unit of archers were dispatched from larger conflicts in the south. The Bosmer were thus goaded into splitting their forces into smaller groups. The Bosmer archers took up positions in the remaining trees whose branches were now 20 or more feet apart, allowing some light into the forest floor. The Bosmer bent the remaining trees with their magics into small fortifications from which to fire their bows. When the tree cutters arrived, the next morning, a half dozen Khajiit fell to the Bosmer arrows in the first volley. After that, the Khajiit took large wooden shields from the backs of the Senche Rot and made a crude shelter. The Khajiit, even enormous Senche Rot, were able to hide between this shelter and one of the larger trees. When it became apparent that the Khajiit would not leave their shelter, some Bosmer choose to descend and engage the Khajiit sword to claw. When the Bosmer were nearly upon by the shelter, one when the Bosmer were nearly upon the shelter, one of the Khajiit began playing a native instrument of plucked metal bars. This was a signal of some kind, and a small group of men like Ohms and Ohms Rot emerged from covered holes on the floor, forest floor. Although outnumbered, they were attacking from behind by surprise and won the ground quickly. The Bosmer archers in the trees would still have won the battle, were they not having troubles of their own. A group of Doggy and Doggy Rot, two of the less common forms of Khajiit who live in the trees of the Tenmar Forest, jumped from one tree to another under a magical cover of silence. They took up positions in the higher branches that could not hold a Bosmer's weight. When the signal came, they used their claws and either torches or spells of fire, accounts from the two survivors I spoke with vary on this point, to distract the archers while the battle on the ground took place. A few of the archers were able to flee, but most were killed. Apparently the the Daji and the Daji Rot have more magical ability than is widely believed, if they were able to keep themselves magically silenced for so long. One of the surviving Bosmer told me that he saw a few ordinary cats among the the Daji, and even claimed that these ordinary cats are known as Alfiq, and that they were the spellcasters. But Bosmer are almost as unreliable as the Khajiit when it comes to the truth, and I cannot believe that a house cat can cast spells. Ah, <laughs> and what little I do know about the Elsewhere expansion, that there are some cute little kitty cats who are ferocious as hell. At the end of the day, the Khajiit lost perhaps a half dozen fighters, out a at the end of the day the Khajiit lost perhaps a half dozen fighters out of force of no more than four dozen while the Bosmer lost nearly an entire company of archers the survivors were unable to report back after a second company of archers arrived and this strategy was repeated again with similar results finally a much larger force was sent and the Bosmer won that battle with the help of the native animals of Valenwood the third skirmish and the Khajiiti response I will discuss in the second volume of this series. Huh. Alright. But I don't know if there is a second volume, is there? I have no idea. Because I would quite like to learn more about that. Yeah. What an interesting little read. Alright. Well, when next we come back, like I said, more of the miscellaneous mayhem, perhaps I'll even look up and see if there is a proper sequel to Mixed Unit Tactics, or maybe it's like some of the other books that, uh, they pose themselves as a series, like a anthology or whatever, but it's either all disconnected or it's incomplete, and it's just a, it's just for flavor, for the sake of flavor, right? All right, cool. When next we come back, more miscellaneous mayhem. Until next time, peace. <laughs>